Hello everyone. In this video I want to look at multiplying radicals, in this case in the using the FOIL method. FOIL refers to first, outer, inner, and last. And when we multiply radicals, we want to multiply as long as they have the same radicand, or excuse me, the same uh, index, we can multiply radicals. So these are all square roots, so they have the same index. And we multiply inside to inside, outside to outside, meaning that when I multiply two terms, for, for example, when I first start with 2 squared of 3x times 3 squared of xy, I multiply what's outside the radical, which is going to be my 2 and the 3, so I'll get 6. And then what's inside the radicals, 3x times xy, so I get 3x squared y. In other words, I wouldn't multiply 2 times the xy, or 3 times the 3x. Next, I'll multiply, continuing my FOIL method, the outer, so 2 square root of 3x times square root of 2y. Since there's only 1 out in front of this radical, we'll just keep it as 2, hence 2 times 1. Inside, I'll have 3x times 2y, so I'll have 6xy. Inner will be the negative 5 root 2 times 3 root xy, which will give me a negative 15, 5 times a 3, square root of 2xy. And then finally, my last, negative 5 root 2 times root 2y will give me a negative 5 square root of 4y. Now that I've foiled, I want to see if I can combine any terms. So looking as at looking at my terms right now, there are no like radicals. All my radicands are different. However, I can break down some of these radicals. My middle two, 6xy and 2xy, I can't break down the 6 or the 2 or x and y at all. So they're going to stay the same. And again, I can't combine them because the radicands, the 2xy and 6xy, have to be exactly the same in order to combine them. I can, however, break down my x squared from the first term. So I'll split this into the square root of x squared and then 3y. So I've broken it into terms that I can take the square root of and terms that I cannot. Square root of x squared becomes x. Square root of 3y stays the same. Since I had a 6 out in front, I'll I have to bring it down and multiply it times my new term. So now I have 6x square root of 3y. My last term, I can take the square root of 4. So I have the square root of 4 and then the square root of y. Square root of 4 becomes 2. The square root of y is still the square root of y. Now I'll take anything in front of my radical and multiply it times my 2 which will give me a minus 10 square root of y. Those are the two terms that I can reduce. The rest, I'll just bring down. So plus 2 square root of 6xy minus 15 square root of 2xy. No more like terms, so this will be my final answer. So again, I foil through, just like with any binomial, simplified as much as I could, and then combine my like terms.